Hi everyone, it's Stephanie here and welcome back. In today's video, we are going to be creating three different cards and I'm gonna be focusing on stamping and die cutting my sentiments. I wanna create three very quick and easy cards, so I'm not gonna include stamped images or coloring or anything like that. We're going to simply die cut our sentiment and also include a stamp sentiment strip. Now I have a bunch of cardstock colors that I've picked out that coordinate with the different pattern papers that I have here on screen. These papers are from the Sweet Celebration Paper Pack and I really love them because you can pull a lot of different colors from the different patterns to kind of mix and match the look that you create on your card. Now I have a bunch of sentiments already die cut. I have the Cheers, Wish, and Hello, and I've die cut them from different colors of cardstock except for the Cheers which is a single die so I've left that one completely pink. In addition to the die cut sentiments, I'm also going to be die cutting a decorative border on each of these cards. So I have the Stitch Scallop Edges 2 Dynamics. There's four different dies included in this set, but we're only gonna be using three since we're creating three cards. And I'm just kind of figuring out right now if I want them to be landscape or vertical cards. It kind of depends on the sentiment that you're going to be using. The Cheers one is a little bit wide to do on a vertical card. So I am gonna do that one landscape. I'm going to do the Hello card landscape as well. And then the Wish one will be the only one that we do vertical. I started off with three white panels that measured three and three quarter inches by five inches, and then I used the decorative borders to cut out part of that panel. Now I want them to be that same size that I started with to put on the card, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to attach them to the pattern paper, and then I'm gonna cut them down so that they are back to that original size. So to do this, what I like to do is just take my tape runner and I put it along the bottom edge where I've added that scallop detail, and then I add it to my pattern paper. I'm gonna do this with all three of these panels. So for these ones here, since they are the longer ones, I'll put the adhesive along that edge. I'll line it up onto my pattern paper, and then I will just adhere that down on top of there. So the pattern paper pieces I have here are much too large for our panel. So once I have them adhered on here, I'm just gonna get my paper trimmer, and we're gonna trim off the excess off of the sides first. Once I have that done, since this one is one of the landscape designs, I'm just gonna turn it in my paper trimmer and measure at three and three quarter inches once again and trim that down. What that's going to do is give us this really cool decorative edge on the middle area of the card, but now it measures the original size that we started with when we cut out the panels. I have already picked out the colors of cardstock I wanna use as the mat in behind each of these panels. So for this first one here, I'm using Razzleberry and I am gonna trim that one down a tiny bit. I wanted the mat on that one to be really skinny. For this second one, I have Blue Raspberry and then for the last one, we're going to use Tropical Teal. I really love the pop of colored ads by putting this cardstock mat underneath of the panel before we add it to the card base. And when we do add these to our card bases, we're going to use a different color to really emphasize the different colors that we're pulling from the pattern papers. Okay, so now that we have the main parts of the panels complete, now it's time to add our sentiments on here. So I have the die cut piece, which you've already seen that I've die cut from the different colors of cardstock. And I'm also gonna be adding a stamped element as well. So I wanna make sure that I kind of have this high enough up that we're going to be able to add our little sentiment strip underneath. Once I figure out where I want it to be placed, I'm gonna use my T-square ruler and that's just gonna help me line up all of the letters and keep everything straight and evenly spaced across the card. Another great way to easily line up and space your die cut letters is to use the negative when you originally die cut the word. So when you die cut that word wish, you can just take the negative of that die cut and lay it over top of your panel and then just use that as a guide to kind of inset your letters and then glue them on. So once I had that done, now I'm gonna move on to the stamp sentiments. So I'm gonna stamp all of the stamp sentiments at the same time. I have three different ones from the More Essential Sentiment stamp set, and I've stamped them onto black cardstock with Versamark ink, which is a clear sticky ink, and then I added white embossing powder over top. To die cut each of these into a fishtail banner, I used the Hearts in a Row Horizontal Dynamics, and I used the Skinny Sentiment Strip die in that set to die cut each of these different sentiments. I also trimmed off one of the edges to give it a flat edge, and now I'm going to adhere all of these to the cards. Once again, I'm gonna use my T-square ruler. This is one of my favorite tools in paper crafting. I use it almost every time I create a card, and it's really great to have on hand to get everything lined up perfectly. So I added my sentiment first to my wish card, and I used make a wish or two to create a birthday card. For the cheers card, I added the world needs more you, and then for the hello card, I added you are loved a lot. And I love the contrast of having the black and white sentiment strips with all of the color that we've added to the cards. Okay, so the last thing we need to do now is we just need to add all of our panels to our card bases. So I have three different card bases here that measure five and a half by four and a quarter inches, which is an A2 size card. 
and I'm just adding each of the panels to these cards. I am making sure to change up the color and use something different than the color I used on the cardstock mat, but I am trying to make sure that I'm using one of the additional colors that I've incorporated into the panel to make sure everything coordinates nicely. And then the last thing I did was just added some clear droplets for a bit of dimension and that is going to complete our card set. As much as I love stamping and incorporating different images into my designs and coloring them, I really love kind of going this direction once in a while and just doing some simple designs that have just sentiments and a little bit of color with pattern paper. I hope today's video gave you some ideas on ways that you can use die cutting and stamping to create just sentiment based cards. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video and I hope to see you again soon. Thanks for watching.